Undiscovered Nar presents Abe Manjuin Temple. Hello, folks. Today we are in the city of Sakurai in Nara Prefecture, and we're taking a quick look at Abe Manjuin Temple, a place of great significance for many of Japan's school students. That's me, by the way, and I'm doing the narration for this video. First, let's talk a little bit about this temple's history and where it's located. Based in the area of what is now Sakurai City, the temple was founded in the year 645. The central deity of the temple is Manju Bolsatsu, or the Buddha of Wisdom. Because of this association, it is a popular place to pray for success in academics. This temple is also famous for its association with the Onmyodo practitioner Abe no Seime, who is sometimes referred to as the Merlin of Japan. From Sakurai Station, it is about a 2 km walk to get to the temple, and there is also a bus that will take you directly to the front gate. Here's a map that shows the layout of the temple complex. The front gate to the temple, shown here, features an unusual rock carving to the side of it that essentially means get off your horse. It is said that this gate has never been closed throughout all its history, so that worshippers can come here at the time of their need. Following the path through the front gate, you are eventually greeted by the main hall of Abe Manjuin Temple. You'll certainly notice that surrounding the main hall are countless wooden plaques. These are known as Emma, and are used for making wishes. More specifically, at Abe Manjuin, they're about passing academic tests, thus the huge amount of them hanging around the temple, each one of them perhaps representing someone's hopes for their academic future. Just southwest of the main hall, you'll find a structure jutting out into a serene pond. This is known as Ukimido Hall. Here, devotees do what is called Shichi Maeri, which is the practice of walking around the hall seven times, each time praying for a wish to come true. Around the edge of the pond, you'll probably see a bunch of huge koi fish that look like they've been fed pretty well by visitors. Across from Ukimido Hall is the Nishi Kofun Tomb Mound, which was built in the 7th century. You can actually go inside of the mound itself and see the ancient carving of the Fudo Myo statue inside. The symmetry of the inside of the tomb is also impressive as well. Directly behind the Nishi Kofun Tomb Mound is a stairway lined with Tori gates leading up to a small Inari shrine that's worth taking the time to check out. Heading to the east, we went to look at the last section of the temple complex. You may be wondering about the stone lanterns everywhere along the pathways here. These are actually donations to the temple, with the donator's info and dates of donation written on the lanterns themselves. At the eastern end, you'll find a shrine named Hoksando, which is actually a shrine built for the veneration of Mount Hoksan, a place considered sacred in the Omiodo tradition. It is also a place where people pray for loving relationships. But judging by the small amount of Emma, it seems to be a much less popular thing to pray for around here compared to passing exams. To the south of the Hoksan Shrine is Gokaku Gate, through which you can pass to get up to Abe Seimeido Hall and an old observatory. This is of course connected to the previously mentioned famous figure Abe no Seime. It is believed that praying at Abe Seime do Hall offers protection from evil spirits and can improve one's fortune. The observatory view is my favorite part of this temple. It is from here that Abe no Seime was once said to have studied the heavens. One seasonal feature located just below the viewpoint is the zodiac flower design shown here for the Year of the Ox. This design changes every year, so it's worth coming back to check it out each time. Another thing that can be seen from here are the Yamato Sanzan, or the Three Mountains of Yamato. These three mountains have a lot of interesting history associated with them, including being in the area where the ancient Japanese capital of Fujiwara Kyo was based. Well, that sums up our short look at Abe Manjuin Temple. It goes without saying that there is a lot more here that we didn't show, including the historical treasures hidden inside the halls that you need to pay to access. 
For more info, please check the description of this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on another episode of Undiscovered Nara.